Welcome back, Ellen Bader. Thanks for having me, Jason. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh, your feet are cold. I know. Sorry. That's yeah, why I'm putting them on you. <laughs> yeah, get them on me. It's okay. <laughs> it's, it's one of your duties. <laughs> it is. My, I, my job in life is to warm up my wife. <laughs> No, ever since we got the hot tub, it's I don't I don't have to work as hard there. Yes, hot tub and and you lifting. It's like oh, and doing lifting weights and perimenopause. <laughs> right, so, your body's changing. It's all it's amazing. It's all making me warmer. I think. Yeah, I just have to say I think the woman's cycle is a fucking miracle. It is. Yeah, yeah. from you know a girl getting her uh, period, her first period menses you know all the way to menopause for a woman is just like unbelievable that journey i just have so much respect for you and women who there's just this amazing mm -hmm. feedback i know it's hard and intense and all kinds of things mm -hmm. but yeah yeah it's a big deal it's a big deal it would be cool if the world recognized that more what women go through and yeah how to support us better. I completely agree. Yeah. <laughs> Until then. It's... Yeah. Thank can you we... for the acknowledgement. <laughs> yeah. Can we come back to that topic sometime? Sure. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are we talking about today? Well, I wanted to ask you about something. You facilitated a two day virtual retreat. I did. Yes. Last this past weekend, mm -hmm. a couple days ago, mm -hmm. and we were talking about it the other day and I just thought, God, I'd love for you to share with people what happened there. Hmm. Because I thought it sounded really cool and yeah. powerful and interesting and maybe people are curious. I was curious. Yeah. So, I just wanted to ask you about it on here and thought you could share with your listeners about like what happens on a 2-day retreat with you currently. Because that, of course, is evolving. It's evolved over the years. Um, yeah, it was a really cool experiment. There were some amazing humans there and people that were willing to take two full days out of their life and hang out with me. Mm -hmm. And the event was called Relationship as a Personal Development Path to like more meaning, connection, and fulfillment, I believe. That was mm -hmm. the title. And, you know, it's... We could start with what is relationship as a path, maybe, and kind of yeah. drill down. Yeah, why that topic? Why is that important to you, or why Why yeah. now? Because uh, that's what I'm living with you, and it's what I'm living in my life. I see all of our relationships as um, these incredible mirrors and also vehicles and... Um, pathways to get more honest with ourselves mm -hmm. to grow to evolve to change to develop ourselves so i invited people into this framework and some were some you know some listeners were there some of the folks were new mm -hmm. some were not as new to that idea or to that idea and also newer to the personal development journey okay and what i noticed throughout the weekend there was a couple themes that came up uh, we can come back to this relationship as a path theme. But what I noticed is people, one of the most common issues people seem to pr bring mm -hmm. during the retreat was speaking up. Like oh. having a problem speaking up. Interesting. And hmm. um, conflict and repair, yeah. which you and I have talked a lot about here and mm -hmm. wrote a book about it. And, mm -hmm. um, so what people, what happens, I think, for people is relationship as a path is like a view, it's a mindset, and it's a way of being. It's a way of living your life. And it takes, I don't know, it's like a big view. And what happens, I think, is people get really stuck in the weeds mm -hmm. of, well, my partner won't listen to me, or I don't feel heard, or how do you say this in a way that won't trigger them? And, you know, and we've done episodes on all those kind of subjects on this sure. podcast. Sure. I've interviewed 
hundreds of experts on this. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of great tools, but people, they lose sight of the bigger picture pretty quickly, even during the retreat. Like how? You know, I was like coaching couples during the retreat. I was uh, answering some questions about how to role modeling, how to speak up. Uh, which is fun. I always like role models, like like role modeling, like, oh, this is what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> but it's your life. Um, yeah, there's some, we were talking about this on the patio the other day, right? Mm-hmm. There's something, I don't know, it's just a big way of living. Mm-hmm. To see you and my parents and people that have given me challenging feedback in my life or... Uh, people I'm activated by to see all of that is on the way on my journey. So, so what you're saying is people were uh, asking questions about conflict, how to repair and get back to a good place, how to speak up. <clears throat> like, how do I tell my partner or whatever it's mostly partnership kinds of questions, mostly partnerships. There was a f- some questions about like just personal empowerment. Like how do I get more confident here mm-hmm. with this thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, quick interruption here. Imagine a career that draws on your passion for personal growth and relationships that harnesses your ability to support, challenge, and connect with others that helps you develop as a person while you help others at the same time. What if you could earn a living while making an impact on thousands of people's lives and even on the future of society and how we treat each other? It'd be pretty cool, right? Well, that job does exist. It's the job of a relationship coach, and I believe that the relationship coaches in the world are going to play a crucial role in the future of our culture not only in the U.S., but abroad. You know, one in two marriages still ends in divorce. Three out of five Americans are lonely. We've got a serious loneliness epidemic and a looming mental health crisis that's, I think, already here. Um, Couples that do well live 10 years longer than couples that don't, okay? Um, According to the Gottmans, 80% 80 of couples are headed in the direction of divorce within their first four to five years of marriage. Yikes! Yikes! Okay, relationship stress is chronic disease. Um, it it's, creates chronic disease, in my opinion, um, from what I've read and the research I understand. Uh, I think it really hurts people everywhere. And uh, I think the only way to really address this relationship, you could say relationship crisis, really, because we, we, it looks like a mental health crisis, it looks like a loneliness crisis. But we have to ask why. What is the root of this? Well, possibly how we raise kids. Possibly it's how we treat each other in our intimate, closest relationships. And the bottom line here is that people need help. They need your help. And our relationship coaches are slowly growing their businesses and doing well and feeling fulfilled and like they have a meaningful purpose and career where they get to work for themselves. So if you want to come be a part of this amazing um, training, you can apply right now. We're taking applications. Um, that's open currently and go to relationshipschool.com forward slash RCT if you want to apply and get an interview. Um, we do offer a portion um, of scholarships to people that enroll if money is an issue and it's a big investment. But if you think of the return on the investment, uh, what you get out of this training, you are going to transform as a person, as an individual, and you're going to become a better partner, better parent, et cetera. And you're going to learn how to effectively help people with their relationship challenges, thus leading to less loneliness, perhaps, and less mental health challenges for people out there. Okay? So come apply for our amazing training, relationshipschool.com forward slash RCT. And so you were, and and the the frame of the weekend was about relationship as a personal development path. So then how do you... What's the link there? Like mm-hmm. they have their questions about conflict or repair or speaking up. Yeah. And you're coming in, like you're saying, with this kind of trying to expand their view of their relationships too. So what's the, what are you hoping people leave, left that weekend with? Yeah. Well, I hope they left with some practical, applicable tools and some just like next steps. You mm-hmm. know, that's on one level. On another level, I just hope they their mind got open to a much bigger way of seeing all of this, mm-hmm. this big shit storm of whatever's challenging in your relationships and all the beauty and all the pain, all the traumas you've been through in your life, that it's all on the way. 
It's it's helping you become who you are. Mm-hmm. And I think one of the outcomes that I care most about for people is that they they see that that like I'm I just want to be myself. So for, for example, a person speaking up, mm-hmm. they're trying to speak up, and they're stuck with, well, my partner gets mad when I speak up, so I'm not going to say anything. Right? That's where they're stuck. Okay. And they don't see, they don't make the connection that speaking up as part of their life curriculum Mm -hmm. that of course they attracted someone in their life that's going to make it challenging for them to speak up and be themselves and i'm like that person's on your team too they're like on your side Mm -hmm. if you see it that way that like you're getting the challenge you need to overcome i'm with a partner who doesn't want my truth right Mm -hmm. it's like if you're in your smaller self with no view, you'll be like, oh my God, I shouldn't say anything and it's going to trigger this person. Then we're going to be in a fight and disconnected and that's really bad. Instead of, oh my God, I'm with a partner who doesn't seem to want my truth and my work on my side is to speak up anyway mm-hmm. because that's good for my development. Regardless of what happens to that person. And it's ultimately going to be good for this relationship. Yeah. Whether it ends or doesn't if it if it ends because of one of us be telling the truth that's probably good yeah <laughs> and if it continues because we're telling the truth that's definitely good you yeah. know exactly it's, it's win-win so I, i'm yeah. trying to help people set it up so they can't lose yeah right because everybody's afraid to lose yes everybody's afraid to lose themselves or they're afraid to lose the relationship or they're going to lose integrity or you know whatever autonomy yeah autonomy independence i'm like no you if you're being yourself and you set it up all your relationships up so that they're all designed to get you to wake up and be who you are you can't lose that doesn't mean there's no discomfort Mm. that doesn't mean there's no pain that doesn't mean there's actual lost relationships Mm -hmm. breakups divorces um hurtful things said really uncomfortable feelings all of that's going to happen right that's it's that's it's inevitable it's inevitable yeah yeah i mean it's like the the pithy sort of weekend thing the premise is like two shitty choices it's yeah choice a and i've been telling a lot of people about this lately Choice A is speak up and possibly lose the relationship out here or don't speak up and lose the relationship to yourself, but keep the relationship out there. That's what people do. They set their life up that way. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, choice B is clearly you're going to lose more because you're going to lose your relationship with you, which is the most important relationship. Mm -hmm. You're going to leave yourself behind to stay in a relationship. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is up with that? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a hell no to that. Yeah. So, um, the create and then we got this i i I went into our childhoods and i I was like look we got this download from a very young age that some part of us got the message like i've got to modify who i am to stay in this family system with the least amount of pain and the most amount of gain which is like connection Mm -hmm. uh like reduce it's like a harm reduction technique that children do (laughs) you know how can i reduce harm i'm gonna be who they want me to be yeah i'm gonna subordinate to their values i'm gonna uh, leave myself behind. I'm going to be invisible. I'm going to be a good girl. I'm going to be a good boy. I'm going to get good grades. You know, the list goes mm-hmm. on. As we've talked about, strategic self. And then people get in relationships and they can't have fulfilling relationships when you're in your strategic self. It can't be done mm. because you're not being honest. Yes. And would you say that that's why sometimes people look around their life and say, you know, I have everything. I got, you know, I have... Yeah great partner you know we have a family we have a home i've got a job i've got like mm-hmm. all the things but i don't but something's something's off, off. or i don't feel i feel depressed or, yeah would you say that's that one of the places to look is at how much they've disconnected from themselves is and like how you're saying it like they've gone into they're yeah. living in a strategic way there's a few different places to look one is uh, everybody has to ask themselves um am i fulfilled do mm-hmm. i like who i am and how i am each day mm. and if you can't say yes to that then you're probably not fulfilled um and people would use the word am i happy and i, I 
can't stand that word in terms of a goal yeah. in, in daily living to try to be it's, happy. It's just such a suffer fest to do that. Yeah. It goes against everything Buddhism taught us. Um, seek pleasure, avoid pain, mm-hmm. create more suffering. Yeah. You know, that's the, that's the map. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people are stuck in that. So I <laughs> want people to be freely, like more freely expressed in themselves and, um, yes, we have these angsty existential questions from time to time and processes in our life. Yeah. But, but by and large, someone, I want people to enjoy who they are and their relationships. Mm-hmm. And so I can, I can have all the things like you said, but if something feels off, trust that tiny voice mm-hmm. that's trying to communicate something to you. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, you brought up Buddhism and I know that, played a huge role in your development mm-hmm. and background and view yeah. building. Yeah. And you, it just caught, I just heard it like that seeking pleasure and avoiding pain that those efforts will equal suffering. Yeah. Like, can you say that again? Because I think that, you know, it's a Buddhist. It's one of the four noble truths or what is that? That's right. Okay. Um, the second noble truth. It's the second noble truth. It's the seeking pleasure and avoiding of pain that creates suffering. Mm-hmm. So what is the, what's the, what does Buddhism offer there to that Buddhism human says, tendency? Yeah. Buddhism says, let's, let's be honest about that human tendency. We all do that. Okay. And let's not, um, the way to kind of end that cycle, which is the cycle of samsara, right? Is you're just creating more suffering if we keep on that train. Mm-hmm. The way to step off that train is to get in the present moment and follow your breath. And eventually you start to see that um, there's ups and downs in life. Mm-hmm. There's highs and lows. There's discomfort and comfort. And can I accept and embrace what's occurring in my life? Mm-hmm. I think it's so such a huge view. Yeah. To think, uh, and and then to watch the, that animal instinct in us to yeah. seek pleasure and avoid pain. Mm-hmm. And once you start developing that witness, which is what meditation does, I think you get more choice there. Mm-hmm. So that, yeah, sometimes I just want a cookie or I want a mm-hmm. pint of Ben and Jerry's or something. Mm-hmm. But there's choice. It's not this automatic default because I feel bad and I want to feel better. Yeah. That I kind of unconsciously just do. And that's a lot of this country because we're so medicated. Mm-hmm. Not just medication, actual medication, but like yeah, but just all the distractions. All the, the distractions. And the food and the like sugar. Like here, we'll the, give you... What are, what do you want to get away from your pain? Yeah. Well, we've got it. <laughs> yeah, we're a hedonist too. Yes. So, yeah, let's uh, let's all just be in distraction together. Yeah, yeah, we really have to fight that more and more. That tendency for uh, avoiding discomfort, and yeah, it seems like that's becoming even more of a challenge to work with those, that part of ourself that doesn't want to be uncomfortable. Yeah. And wants to just, quote unquote, feel good. And then it seems like people struggle with this in relationship too, because yes, you might struggle with it in life, but in relationships, people can start to think, well, I'm just, this is supposed to be easy or if it's supposed to be hard or it shouldn't, or it's not supposed to be hard or Mm -hmm. um, they, they start avoiding their relationship material yeah because it's uncomfortable and so they do all kinds of things to get around it and mm-hmm. not deal with it and not face it and um you're basically saying that facing whatever's there in front of you is the path yeah Yo, yo, as you know, I've dedicated my life to helping people with their relationships, right? I want to solve this problem so that all of you can work through your differences and have fulfilling, amazing, badass partnerships and relationships, family, coworkers, friends, whoever. And I have trained a ton of relationship coaches, almost 100 certified relationship coaches to help you specifically work through your relationship challenges. So I want to invite you to a special deal we're offering to the podcast listener where you can get 50% off your first month of coaching with one of our amazing relationship coaches. Okay, if you're tired of therapy, it feels like that's going around in circle, or you want to actually set goals 
and accomplish your relationship goals, hire a relationship coach. Okay, go to relationshipschool.com forward slash get coaching now and then use the coupon code first 50 to get the 50% deal off your first month of relationship coaching. Super psyched to have our amazing coaches serve you and help you get to the next level. Talk about what is the path? Like, what does that even mean when you say that? Yeah. And then I want to come back to the couples avoiding stuff. Okay. I have some questions for you there. Okay. Uh, The path is the um, one foot in front of the other. uh, Like I I visualize an actual path, right? Through the woods, say, let's say through a forest. The path is I'm, I'm on the path, which means I'm on a growth path and I'm looking at everything that I stumble upon along the way on this trail as helping me develop myself. Mm-hmm. So the metaphor would be a snake is on the trail and I step on it and it bites me. That's um, helping me learn something about myself. Mm-hmm. And the world too. Yeah. Like, oh, this is, okay, this is this what's going on in this trail. And, and for people and individuals in relationship challenges, there's all kinds of relationship challenges in life. Yeah. And I think most people's orientation is those are problems to be avoided mm-hmm. and to be medicated over. And then it's the other person that did this to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm just like, wait, that's, that's a losing game, a zero sum game. And you see this with the couples you work with, right? Mm-hmm. It's, they want to, they don't want to step foot on the path because there's a lot of, they don't want to deal with. Right. Because to grow is to be uncomfortable. Yeah. To develop yourself is to be uncomfortable. Yeah. On the regular. On the regular. This is why ignorance is bliss. That saying I think is so, a lot of people would rather stay in ignorance or just asleep or, Mm -hmm. um, you know, looking in the other direction. Right. There's a lot to wake up. It is and a meet lot. yourself directly. Mm-hmm. It's like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. And relationships, more than anything else, I think, give us that opportunity. Mm-hmm. There's money challenges. There's health challenges, of course. And those are huge. Um, and those can be used also in the same way. Money right. as a path. Health as a path. Disease as a path. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I, I really like relationships because it seems to be something that's continuous throughout our lives. Mm-hmm. And something that starts day one. Yeah. And never stops. We can't live without. Can't live without. Um, yeah. And then if you can figure it out mm-hmm. in a in a way, then it becomes that fuel all becomes like nourishment as mm-hmm. well. It seems like there's something I mean, relationships are also so tied to our mental and emotional health and yeah. well being. Yeah. And I think that's why there is so much leverage there for relationships to be a growth and development path because they're impacting our mental and emotional and even our physical well-being every day. Every day. And so you're really like covering a lot of ground mm-hmm. in your own life experience when you're tending to your relationships. There's yeah. so much material there and it's so complex Because dealing with other people is very complex, especially the people we depend on most. And then you can't, it it doesn't really ever end. It's not like you and I are done. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to keep paying attention. We're continuing to learn about ourselves and each other. And I think we just see that as very ongoing and we accept that and we we actually are, it's interesting to us. Like, Mm -hmm. I think if, I'm, I'm always surprised, I think that, there's so many people that don't seem that interested in their relationships or yeah. each other and or themselves even. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I, maybe they were taught not to be or being interested means like, oh, if I, if I look around, if I look too closely, I might feel something I don't want to feel or mm-hmm. learn something I don't want to know, mm-hmm. see something I don't want to see. Yeah. And... Yeah, I think you have to be someone who wants to know the truth and wants to see mm-hmm. what's really there. Yeah. But if you can f- if you can embrace that, it it just opens up so many possibilities, but So with yeah. you. Yeah, cuz you see couples who don't always want to look under the hood, right? Oh yeah. They're just I'm, like, look, we just want to feel wanna, okay. They want relief, yeah. but they don't want to really become their f- 
fullest expressions yeah. of themselves and their relationship, what, yeah. whatever that means for them. But they, they want to get out of the discomfort they're in and they get a little relief and they're like, that's great. Mm-hmm. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, cool. I was like, wait, there's no, so there's much so much more. more to do. You're still not using your voice. Yes. You're just, you just got over a little speed <laughs> bump there. Yeah. And- there's, this is, and not that they have to be in coaching or therapy forever by any means, but there is a lot. I, I like, I'm wondering if in two days you felt like, like how long does it take a person to really start to get that there's a really big kind of mystery Mm -hmm. view on life happening here that we could be engaging with Mm -hmm. if we want. Well, I hope people, I gave people, I hope a couple of those people put their first, made their first step onto the path of their hero's journey. Sure. And that would be a big accomplishment if I did that. Um, yeah, because I think a lot of them, or some of them, didn't don't are they're still looking at the path like oh, <laughs> the way Jason <laughs> talks about it, and being intense, and I'm not so sure. And I think people are very ambivalent about yeah. true change, true lasting change, because mm-hmm. it requires so much of them. Yeah, and it it really is what Joseph Campbell said. It's a hero's journey. It's a you know we'll we'll watch it on big screens all day long, right? But we won't step foot on it ourselves right. and i'm like T- all the the curriculum you have for your hero's journey your movie your big screenplay is happening every fucking day yeah you know it's it's, it's going on right now it's true uh, do you want to look at it squarely in the eye or not mm-hmm. and i i just want people to um i think relationships in particular are just so unique and beautiful to start seeing as like oh there's all these guideposts and feedback loops that are immediate Mm -hmm. with my circle of friends and my partner I chose, my family of origin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My children. Children. Yeah. 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 So, um, and I, I really love people who want to make the journey, you know? Yeah. There's like kind of two kinds of people and there's like, get me out of pain. And then there's, I want to make the journey. Yeah. And I really like the latter. Nothing against you former folks that just want to get out of pain. It's it's okay. (laughs) I want to get out of pain too in some areas of my life. Um, But making a journey is builds like a genuine sense of self-confidence, self-respect, self-love. And then if you can find other travelers Mm -hmm. who are making the journey also, it's really epic. It's like really beautiful. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I agree. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like a really p- beautiful, powerful, and also practical way to spend for all those participants to spend a couple days. I hope so. I mean, it right. was for me, and mm-hmm. I know some of them, you know, it was clear some of them were pretty altered, um, hopefully more connected to themselves. And some of them will, will make the next step. Some of them already have, you know, they want to yeah. do relationship mastery, which is that's a clear statement to the universe that you're serious about your journey. Yeah. It's time to change your life. You don't have to do that class. You can do another course or another year long experience, but yeah, just want to encourage you listeners to get serious. Yeah. You know, cause the, that's where the magic is. Mm-hmm. It, when you lean into your journey and you put both feet in and you stop kind of, looking at it from far away or the sidelines and one foot in one foot out like eh, i don't know if i want to fully transform <laughs> but yeah the, there's so much to gain if you do yeah and if you're already doing that that's awesome yeah congratulations <laughs> congratulations welcome. welcome welcome to the journey yeah of your life yeah 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 cool well thank you yeah yeah So maybe a person's action step today can be to um, reflect on your level of commitment to yourself and your own life and your journey. How committed am I to solving the problems that are in my life, the curriculum I have, and uh, am I willing to go all in and just grow and learn and develop myself? Great. Yeah. All right. Adios. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.